I want people to to be careful what they invest in. Now, do your own research. You know, I, I have to put out, I'm not a financial expert. Don't do as I say. I only put out things for people's awareness. That's the only reason I put out any type of videos. It's just like I was trying to say in the dating coaches yesterday. I was trying to talk about how, how you know, when you're looking up videos, a lot of these dating coaches, they're just trying to sell things. You know, I've seen these guys um, who talk about doom and gloom, right? I, I was listening to them a lot. And then the, it's just the same thing. Doom and gloom, doom and gloom. Always doom and gloom. Uh, the world's going to end tomorrow. Do this and then buy my book or invest in my program. You know, a lot of these people are just trying to sell. And this is what I'm trying to say. When, when you're clicking on different... Um, YouTubers out there, you have to be aware of what they're trying to do is they're either trying to sell something, you know, maybe, maybe they're trying to promote their, uh, like, like if you go on Coinbase or, or something or, or, or BlockFi or different exchanges and you, and you, and you put out a promotion code for somebody to, to use, which they, they can get, it'll benefit them, but it also benefits the, the YouTuber as well. So they get money. So obviously, if if they have a hundred thousand people investing in, and a hundred thousand people go to coin go to Coinbase and do the ten dollar thing, right? And they open up an account with a promotion code. That's a million dollars for them, right? So pe these people are trying to push stuff. So you have to be very careful about deciphering these people. You know. It's 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 highly annoying to to in these in these YouTubers when they when they promote their products. You know, it's 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 pretty easy to just put something up here to have the product up here, and you can put something in the background the whole time, and you can be like, "Hey, listen," but they sit here for minutes, go here, do the, you know, you could have. There's a lot of these people have a lot of money and have access to a lot of resources where they can have like headlines on the bottom, but you know, kind of like, kind of like the news does with like on the on the bottom right here where it has like breaking news. Well, you can have ads going across right there without having to sit here and and talk about it. And another thing is like we know, we know we can like, we know we can subscribe, and you can do that too. Like I just don't understand why why they don't incorporate this type of technology because when when I click on a video I don't want to hear about what product you're trying to peddle. I don't want to hear I don't I, I I get annoyed with the same type of intro. They say the same thing, the same thing every single time in the same intro, the same at outro. And it's just stupid. I click on I click on a video because I want to hear the news. I want to hear what they're talking about. I don't care about their product. If I wanted to to, to get their product, and I know they want to get it out there more, I get it. But you can do it without just wasting my time in the video. But what I'm trying to say is, a lot of these a lot of these YouTubers out here, and I seen it with the Doge, right? I seen it with Doge Day. Oh, it's gonna go to the moon! It's gonna go to the moon! And then what it do? It went flat, and and a lot of it, a lot of their thumbnails like Doge to a dollar, Doge to the moon. You know, I see a lot of these, a lot of these people, and, and it's it's clickbait. Oh, uh, uh, Bitcoin at three hundred thousand dollars, right? And and you're like, okay, how many videos are you gonna put up with the thumbnail that says Bitcoin at three hundred thousand dollars? I get it. I get it. It's just like the same thumbnails over and over. And and I get that's their that that's their stick. That's their channel. I'm pretty diverse what I talk about. I'm ex I'm probably one of the most diverse YouTubers out here. That's probably why I don't have hardly any subscribers and I've lost subscribers, especially when I put my music out. I've I, it must be pretty bad. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still going to put more. I'm still going to make more. Um, so, and, 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 and that, that's fine. If you all, if I have no subscribers, fine. If I have no views, fine. I don't care. I do this for myself. But anyway, 
and and I do it to to bring awareness to other people. So you got to be careful about these. Do do your research on these technologies. Like if, if you're going to invest in um, uh, cryptos, there's so many different technologies out there. It's not just Bitcoin. It's not just uh, that people mistake. Oh, it's cryptocurrencies. They're not all currencies. They're there are different types of technologies that you can invest in. Um, like Ethereum will probably be the, the internet of the future. And that's what it's probably going to be. And you got Cardano is the same type of deal. It's a, it's a competitor, right? Which is great. Compe com competitive means um, progress. That's what competitiveness means. Um, it means not being stagnant, not being comfortable. Now look at Madden, right? Look at Madden. Madden's trash. Why is Madden trash? It has no competitors. I guarantee you if Madden had a competitor, they would not be trash. And why do they, why do they not have competitors? Well, the NFL decided to go with signing only with Madden. That's why. So, NFL 2K was a, a huge competitor, and the NFL forced them out and 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 made Mon Madden into a monopoly. What? What? Why? Why is monopolies? You know, this is I just don't like monopolies, and I thought that our government's supposed to be getting rid of monopolies. Anyway, that's a different video. But yeah, you need to be careful about these YouTubers and 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 who you listen to. Um, I listen to a ton of different people. I don't just listen to one, right? Um, same, same, same for politics. Same for uh, social dynamics or or female nature. I listen to an array of different people. Of all different backgrounds, of all different races, of all different religions and beliefs and political. I listen to all different types of stuff. My 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 influences are highly diverse. Highly diverse. I don't just listen to CNN. <laughs> I don't I don't listen to CNN at all because it's trash. Um but um most people only flock towards one central outlet of what they like, what they want to, the information that they get. And you need to, you need to try to broaden that as much as you can. So you don't get just one type of information. They could be wrong. And if you listen to somebody else and they, and, and it sounds okay, it's the same. It makes it, it makes it okay, and it has to be real. If you're hearing different different people from different aspects of the world or or, or backgrounds, and you're hearing different and, and you're hearing the same information, then it's probably true. Okay, um, the cryptocurrency market plunged over the weekend, and. It was highly annoying to me. But it's all starting to go back up now. But, I mean... Yeah, you just need to... You just need to do your own research. And that's what it comes down to. And understand, when they say that Bitcoin is going to go to a million dollars or silver is going to go to a hundred dollars... You have to understand that some of that is not just wealth, that's inflation, that's them printing our dollar out to be worthless. And if you don't know anything about inflation, just look at Venezuela, just ask Venezuela or ask Germany in, in the 1920s. Um, or you can ask, you can also ask uh, Zimbabwe, I think they have a a million dollar piece of currency that or a bill I don't know so you make you make your currency worthless um yeah 
So just be careful about who you listen to. And, and like I said, if you YouTubers are annoying with your ads, <laughs> it's, it's already bad enough I have to have YouTube come out here and, and I got to listen to some five second clip of some nonsense I don't care about or 15 second crap that is just garbage to me that I have zero interest in. But yeah, I mean, you, you people have a ton of assets. Why don't you just run your ads on the bottom? You can put like, click, and share right there. Boom, boom, like a boom. breaking news. Like, click, and share. Subscribe. Um, um, this, this, and that. This and that. This is your, this is your, uh, um, your ads. This, this video is sponsored by this. Boom, just go. Like, come on, man. I just don't understand why I have to listen to your stupid nonsense for. It's like a commercial for three minutes. I just don't want to listen to it, and 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 it annoys me. Because I have to skip through in your stupid videos. Um, well, that part in your stupid video. Um, and, and miss out on some of the news I want to hear about. So, yeah. This video is about a lot of different things. Y'all take it easy.